Hey guys, it's Jam with AudioMediaProductionService.com. Um, this is the last video of the X30 bearing our X32 training. I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, unless you guys got more ideas, I might come up with some more ideas and actually maybe go through the effects and their parameters and do some videos on that too. But um, so we're gonna talk about the USB section and the recorder on the bearing our X32. As you can see on the screen, um, you got to stop, play, rewind, fast forward, record. Um, you can choose which track to play. So you can load up USBs with break music and play your break music on the console. Um, they do return over in your aux uh, inputs one through six in USB record section. So if you were to hit that layer on your inputs, you'll see your playback come in right here. Um, once again, you can assign that to be your playback for your USB to be on any fader with the extensive routing that's in the console. Um, we do have a record input meter. We have a playback meter. Um, you can select any of the sources on the next screen. So uh, on the config screen of this, we have the record input gain you can see coming in. Um, you can select the current path and folder that you want to go ahead and record into. Uh, you can select, uh, select and adjust the record trim left and right. Right, right here, you can probably hear the change a little bit there. Um, now you can, uh, on this little layer here, you can uh, select pretty much what you want to record. So you can do the main left and right, you can do the mix buses, the matrixes, the direct outs, monitors, etc. You can choose pre-EQ, uh, post-EQ, pre-fader, post-fader, a lot of different options. Um, I do want to talk about up on the not on the screen, but over here on the FAD channel where you plug in the USB. It does have a little light. Um, anytime you save your scenes to that USB, which I showed you in the scene section, um, this little light will be activated. And you can see that it's activated right now because I'm recording. So if I was to hit stop on the recording right now, that little light will go away. And you have the view button, of course. Uh, to load up new firmware and update the board, you would have the console shut off, and then you would have your update on that USB drive. You would plug it in, and you're going to have to hold down the view button. While holding it down, you're going to go ahead and turn the console on while you keep holding that. And that'll tell the console to go ahead and find that update on the USB drive and update the board. And that pretty much does it for the USB section of the console. Um, please comment likes share subscribe um, give me a thumbs up thumbs down ideas for more videos because i think i like making these videos <laughs> um i like teaching people and uh i'm gonna have more videos but i'm maybe not on the x32 because i'm pretty much covered most of the board unless you guys got some more ideas i might do some other videos on some speaker management acoustics pl uh, placement um different ways to wrap cables, things like that, anything audio. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, and I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon, a free gear so, uh, for so many subscribers. So I'll do another video after this talking about uh, the giveaway. So um, thank you, and I appreciate, uh, appreciate all your guys' support, and I'll talk to you later.